it's now my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, Manol Bopaya. You do not have a confidence gap and you do not need to lean in. If you want to embrace your power, what you need to do is redesign the system. There are times when equality is the answer and there are times when equity is the answer. And right now we're moving towards equity as being more of the answer, but I think very few people have an understanding about how different can also be fair. Systems of oppression evolve. There are always unintended consequences of any change movement. And if you have a change professional, they're keeping the goal on the intended impact, but also keeping an eye on the unintended impact and understanding that they have to course correct continuously. It's easier to map DEI or whatever the behavior change is that you want to people's existing values. Show them how DEI relates to what they already care about. Stop trying to get everybody to care about what we care about because I don't like, it's very, very hard to do that. And I also think it's somewhat insulting because people have a reason for valuing what they value. Public media to actually be public should serve the public interest, which means diverse audiences. Oh yeah. <laughs> Right? That is a liberatory approach to the power that you have to get information out there and to unify communities. Her book, Equity, won the 2022 Terry McAdam Book Award, which honors the most inspirational and useful new books contributing to nonprofit management and capacity building. You know, there are countries where teachers and doctors are the highest paid professionals. And those are people who are taking care on an interpersonal level. We need to professionalize systems work where those are people who are paid highly for taking care at the community and systems level. If you are an entrepreneur, you can build a company and you can grow. But if, you're, if the premise of your business is that you can have growth quarter after quarter, year after year at an infinite scale, that is not true. We have clearly run out of planet. Right. And so your metric of success should not be growth, it should be sustainability. Mm. What is the longevity of what you're creating? Not how much can you maximize growth in order to get more than you need. So what you do is you start where you are. You have a very honest conversation with yourself about the actual power you have and the autonomy over which you have of things in your environment, right? What do you have autonomy over? Mm -hmm.